seatbelt's already on. Car chat time on my way to work. And I want to let you guys know as I'm talking to you, not even looking at you because I'm trying to back up. Um, I'm so excited. I find like I was really struggling like redoing my sticker binder and um like I was so you guys those of you who have seen my plan with me's and actually if you watch my sticker organization binder video that I did like nine months ago um, that system really worked for me but then as my channel has grown and I've been getting more stickers doing Etsy spotlights and all that my stickers have grown like I'm running out of space so I hated using like three different binders so and then using the notebook paper worked well for a while but then as you as you use it and stuff it falls apart and I was like okay so that was a good f first year doing it but now I'm redoing it so I saw a video that someone used like the project life binder and like these project life cards but they were bigger and I can find the Project Life binders because they're like more wider, but for the life of me, couldn't find those cards she was using. And I was getting so frustrated. So I bought, don't you dare get out. I was, it is my turn. You have a red light. Mm. Um, so I found the Project Life binder, so I bought it. And then when I got home, I didn't like it. I was like, Ugh, I don't like it. So, um, pardon me, I put my sunglasses. I hate talking to you guys with sunglasses. So, then I saw another video and I want to say it was on Periscope. It was Plan with Lakin. That's who it was. Um, I think that's how you say her name. Lake, Lake I'm assuming. Um, and I have followed her on Instagram. Like she's really well known in the planning community. She's very nice. I haven't obviously spoken to her or talked to her or anything like that, but she just seems like a very nice person. So I watch her Periscope and I see how she uses the big size binder and I'm like, Okay, so I have like this empty binder at home and I love it. The only problem with using this binder and loving it is that I forget where I got it. Yeah, so that's a problem. So maybe when you guys see the video, you can say, oh, I know where that binder is because I'm, but it's an old binder. Like I bought it probably a couple years ago. So that's an issue. <sighs> anyway, so then I go to Michael's and in my other vlogs, I, I said, I talk, okay, you have a large piece of wood in your car and I'm going to say that that is not a secure piece of wood. I am getting as far away from you as possible. Yeah, that is not safe. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, so, so then in my other vlog, I went to Michael's to get cardstock and stuff and I just couldn't, I don't know what it was, but then I it dawned on me, it was the universe or somebody up above telling me, Mandy, stop. Because then I realized, I used to be a creative memories consultant. I have like so much scrapbook paper at home that I've been like using it for like kids projects and stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my God. So I started working on it. And I can't even tell you how awesome it looks right now. And as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, oh, oh, Mandy, slow down. You're gonna wanna videotape the process at some point. So I love it, but there, I right now it's sectioned by month because I'm gonna have two binders because that's how many stickers I have, I think. Because I'm a teacher at heart, every month has a color. Don't ask me why. My, I've been teaching for so many years and I have, haven't taught in a couple years, but it's still ingrained in my skull. So, of course, when I have to color coordinate a binder by month, of course I'm going to use the colors in my head, like September's yellow, October's orange, November's brown, December's red. Like, it's literally like, I'm like, seriously, Mandy? But then as I think about the themes and like the types of stickers, I'm thinking, there's some I don't have enough to fill up my, I don't know. I'm going to kind of go... And I like the fact that I use repositional tape instead of washi. So much nicer because then you're not wasting paper. So when, like when I'm done with the sticker sheet, I can um, just take the sticker sheet off, but I can still use the paper. So it's not a waste. Love that. And it doesn't rip the paper when it comes off. So I'm like, if you can tell by like my, how can people get out of my way? If you can tell on how like excited I am by talking, I cannot wait to film this video. Like I put all the paper in. I don't have any paper for June, July, and August. But then I was thinking, just do a section for, you know, summer, right? Because then I wanna 
like, I don't know, because then I have all my miscellaneous stickers, like event stickers and um, half boxes and, you know, errands, like laundry, dish, all that stuff. So it's like, how, so then I, and so now I have to completely like, okay, I don't want to do it by season though, because I have too many like specific stickers, like, oh, maybe I should, maybe I should do September, October, November, December, January, February. March, April, May, and then June, July, August, and then, I don't know, see, see, this is the problem I'm having. But anyways, I cannot wait to film it. So, at, oh, okay, well, we're gonna go really, I hate when people get cut me off, and then you're gonna go really slow. Just so you're aware, the speed limit's 55. We're going 40. All right, anyways, I'll keep you guys posted. Ladies, today's the day I'm getting my hair done. I'm scared. I am so like, even my hairdresser is probably gonna be scared because she's probably like, oh my God, because she knows how I am with my hair. Once I find a good hairdresser, it's like I threaten their life if they're gonna leave. I'm like, don't you friggin' leave this salon because I love my salon. And if she ever left, I'd be like, I don't know what to do. I mean, there's other good salon uh, stylists there, so I probably would just pick another one. But it's like, I am so like, uh, like, cutting my hair I'm like oh my god I only cut this much and it's like I'm I'm just like it's it's bad it's just bad so yeah I'm really nervous about how this is gonna turn out I've never had I've, I've put brown in my hair I've put obviously put blonde in my hair I have never put red in my hair ever so you know what we're gonna do it this is this is what we're gonna do so this is how it's gonna be I'm scared I'm gonna try and vlog the process We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, off I go. I'm like really nervous, guys. That's why I keep rambling and talking. And I had my little dance session earlier because of that. <laughs> All right, off I go. guys here is my new hair you're probably like um I'm not seeing red well we decided against red only because she was worried that I wouldn't like it because what I was kind of thinking of it would be kind of streaky so she definitely thought it was a good idea to warm it up so she did more low lights and then she the toner was was more warm so I definitely like it I think it's definitely fall appropriate I still have some light, some blonde in there, but now it's just a little bit more warmer. Um, I absolutely love it. Hopefully you guys do too. Um, I have natural red highlights, and so maybe I'm seeing things, but I feel like with warming it up, like right around here, I can kind of see a little bit of a red hue or like something. So, but I love it. Super excited. Definitely needed a change. I feel like my hair was definitely still summer, very light with blonde. So I like this. So yeah. I'm excited. I tried to vlog as much as I could through the process. Posted a few pictures on Instagram. Yeah. Yes. Looks good. I like it. Hi guys. Um, pardon the way I look. It's cold in this house. It's cold outside. I need to buy oil. I mean, I have oil. I have the heat on right now, but it's cold. As much as I complain about summer, like, this is why I complain about summers. Because when I'm hot and the AC's on and it's just, you're just hot because the humidity, like, is awful up in New England. I, there's nothing you can do. Unless you want to run around naked or stand in a cold shower all day, there's nothing you can do. Um, that's why usually I don't go to the beach. You find me at a mall, <laughs> a car, someone else's house has got, like, central air. 
Anyways, but I mean, like right now I'm cold. I'm not really happy, but at least I can throw the heat on. I can, you know what I mean? It's like you can do something about it. Yes. Okay, so what was I going to tell you guys? I'm going to stretch. I have three new videos going up this week besides the plan with me in the vlog. Those are like automatic every week. I like the fact that I have a schedule. Like I like the fact that Mondays and Wednesdays are set. Monday's my plan with me. Wednesdays are my vlog. Like, because there are some weeks where I don't put up a, a video every Friday or something. Cause I just, I'm like, oh, I didn't have time. It was busy or I just, you know, didn't really have anything planned. So I like having a schedule. Um, I'm finally gonna be able to put up the Etsy haul. The only problem with this Etsy haul is that with certain shops I filmed at different times. Like I just kind of put the camera down on the table and showed you the stickers. So like there's two shops that I did two orders for. So it'll say, oh, here's this shop. And then like five minutes later, oh, and here's another thing from this. No, so it's, it's, it's gonna, editing wise, it's gonna be kind of okay, but you'll get to see everything. So um, there's that. And what else? I'm going to be sending out the giveaway boxes by the end of the week. I'm super excited about it. And the the woman that um, won the planner box, I'm so, I'm so excited for because she, you know, I emailed her asking her, you know, oh, what are you, is there anything you're specifically looking for? Because I like to make it more personal. And she was like, no, I, you know, I just got a planner. I'm kind of a newbie. I don't have much. I'm like, oh my God, I've created this giveaway for someone like you because it's literally like a starter box. It's got some Erin Condren goodies. It's got, it's, oh, I cannot wait. She has to like, oh my God, I just hope she likes everything. But it's like literally, it's perfect for a newbie because they don't have a lot of stickers, especially from Etsy shops. Um, they don't have a lot of wash. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can you tell? Um, yeah, but my unboxing videos are growing up this week and my sticker, oh goodness. So, uh, I need coffee. I'm drinking my coffee now. About ready to watch some YouTube videos and then I'm going to sit down and do my plan with me. And yeah, so hope you guys have a good week. Hello guys. So what was I going to tell you? Oh, you know what? I made the big... I'm so mad. This is one of those mistakes where you're like, oh my god. Because I'm not even making mistakes. You're like, oh well, whatever. This was a mistake I made. It's not a earth-shattered mistake. It has to do with, like, shipping and Erin Condren. And by saying that, I'm sure you know what I mean. But I ordered um, a couple things. And I always always get the 995 shipping always it's just set because i'm not waiting friggin two weeks to get something so um so yeah so i finally get the notification that it's shipped and there was no like and when I put in the tracking number, I, I told you guys about that app, um, Airship that I put all, or Aftership that I put all the tracking numbers in and it just, it's one place to go to find out where my packages are. And when I put the tracking number, it usually tells you what the carrier is, whether it's UPS, USPS, FedEx, whatever. I put it in, it says Smart Post, and I went, oh no. And so I looked up my order and I'm like, God, I hit the $7.95 shipping option. And those of you who are not aware of what that is, there are two different options. The $7.95 option, you're caught, you're, it, it, it ships FedEx. But what happens is it goes to the FedEx really big truck, like the, 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 like the six wheeler or whatever. And it drives from California to Massachusetts basically or wherever your destination is and then and from there it goes from FedEx in like Massachusetts to your post office and then the post office delivers it so basically it's like two weeks where the 995 option is still the same thing but it's FedEx getting on an airplane and flying across the country to Massachusetts and then either and then FedEx drops it off to your house that is the difference so, yeah. Oh, I'm so, like, irritated. Like, oh, 
So now I have to wait. It's probably going to be two weeks. I got the shipping notification last week and it still hasn't updated. That's the other thing. FedEx is horrible about updating. So I'm just thinking it's going to come in November. Because, yeah, I'm so irritated. I mean, it's not like it's a life planner or a notebook or anything. It's little, like, accessory stuff. But still, when you make an order, you, like, you want to... Oh, I'm so irritated. So, hi. I'm so, yeah. I'm just like, oh, you're kidding me. Oh, well. I'm actually trying... Part of me really wants to get the metallic life planner for, for 2016. Because I need a new one for January. And I was just going to get one go to staple because I have I'm lucky enough to have like four staples in my state that I can buy it so I was just gonna go buy it because I'm thinking why am I gonna pay extra for shipping or whatever but I found out that I think your 20th order you get in the mail a hundred uh, uh, like a shipping that you get a hundred dollars towards because I know is that right because 10 is 50 and I think 20 is 100. And so I, I think I'm at 100. I think this is my 20th order or I have one more. And so, like, I'll just get, like, a couple accessories or something, like, you know, covers or whatever. Because then I'm thinking, oh, for my 20th order, you know, then I can use that $100. And I'm just thinking about getting the metallic life planner. Not that I need it. I'm not going to get the rose gold. I was going to get the silver one because I'm not a gold person. And as much as I like rose gold, I've heard horror stories about the binder. Like, it chips the paint. It's, like, pointless. So that was, I, I was thinking, I was just thinking about it. But then I was like, well, Mandy, you can buy the, I mean, because, I mean, there's really no difference except for the binding is platinum and they have like a little plat, you know, but then I was thinking they sell the platinum covers. Like you could always just buy the Staples one, save a ton of money and then get, you can buy a metallic cover. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. This has been like an Aaron Condren rant. Hey.